Tonight on Jerry Springer, the Who's Your Daddy special. Kim is a 25-year-old girl living in Hootentown, Kentucky. Kim works as a part-time bartender at Salami Tommy's. Kim is six months pregnant with a child whose father is not yet determined. She believes that the father is Jonas Sanchez, a Mexican migrant worker who is extremely low social class and routinely experiences discrimination in the workplace. Also on the show we have Cherry, a 14 year old middle school dropout who is seven months pregnant. She works part time at the in and out strip club in Kootentown and experiences role conflict. Being a pregnant mother and trying to be a successful stripper, Cherry thinks that Darren, a manager of a local Waffle House, is the father. All of them are in for a shocking result. Right! Jerry, 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 Jerry. All right, welcome to Jerry Springer. Tonight is the Who's Your Daddy special. We have two cases of Who's Your Daddy confusion. Our first guest is Kim, a 25-year-old bartender who lives in Hootentown, Kentucky. She thinks that the father of her child is Jonas Sanchez. Let's bring her out. Hey, Jerry. Hey, how do you feel today? Um, large, pregnant, you know. You know, I'm not racist or anything, but, you know, I hope it's white. <laughs> okay, now back to what matters. Um, so, Kim, you're 25 and you work as a bartender, uh -huh. and you've been pregnant for six months. Uh, do you think that the father of a child is, uh, jo Jonas? Why do you think that the father would be that man? Because I've had sex with, you know, over 33 people, and he was the last one I did before the test became positive, so... Oh, and also he's a minority, so... Alright, well, uh, that doesn't really matter, so let's bring him out here. Hola! So you're, you're a migrant worker? See, si. I'm a part of the working poor and have no power, prestige, and very low income. So was your family in the underclass? Yes, and I'm an example of horizontal mobility and have, no ex and have not experienced vertical mobility. So if, you're a, if your ascribed status is a migrant worker, then how are you going to support a family? Well, if all else fails, I will make Kim here sell her body. All right then, um, so how did you and Kim meet? Well, I was doing the landscape for Salami Tommy's and Kim and came out to give me some lemonade by the bar. And I could tell right away that she was about to be my significant other. It's a beautiful story. Very touching. On that note, when we come back, let's introduce our 14-year-old middle school dropout stripper. Oops. I need to be at a job interview in 10 minutes. Billy Mays here with OxyClean, number one product for stain removal. OxyClean works on wine stains, animal stains, feces, and blood. One scoop of my magic perfection. Wait five minutes. It even gets the deepest stains out. Thanks, Billy Mays. And if you call within the next two minutes, you'll get two boxes for the price of one. Buy OxyClean, then you. Get your OxyClean today. Call 1-414-416-2364. Call in the next 20 minutes and get a second box free. The number is 1-414-416-2364. That's 1-414-416-2364. 1-414-416-2364. Billy Mays. Jerry, 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 Jerry. <laughs> Welcome back from the excellent commercial break. We have here 14-year-old okay, Jerry. Stop. <laughs> Jerry, tell me about your life. Well, I dropped out of eighth grade to pursue my lifelong dream as a very successful adult entertainer. Stripper. Stripper. <laughs> it's an entertainer. Um, life's been pretty good recently. My family's been very proud of me. And I'm pretty... I'm pretty much living the dream. I mean, um, I met Darren. 
from uh, the in and out where I work. And um, I give him a free show and we just hit it off. And we've been together ever since. Wow, that sounds absolutely awful. <laughs> Actually, I'm very proud of my achieved status, and I take pride um, in me being a stripper. Um, it's my most important and master status, and I do what I want. <laughs> yeah, we understand that you do what you want. Well, you're, you're obviously pregnant. What does that mean? <laughs> you're huge, and so you think that the father is Darren, a 46-year-old bartender at your strip club. Let's bring him out here. Hey, whatever, whatever. Yeah, whatever. That's ages, though. Don't know. No, no, my God. Ages. Alright, it looks like the audience is getting a little rowdy. Um, seems like according to the conflict theory, people in the audience are feeling threatened by an older man getting with a 14 year old. Yeah, whatever. So, um, <laughs> so, Darren, what do you think about this whole situation? Um, well, Jerry, uh, I'm 46 years young, and um, I just got to tell you right now that I've never been more in love with someone in my life than Cherry, because she's my little sunshine, and uh, she's just beautiful, and she's just my world. All right, um, that's really creepy. Um, <laughs> you don't know me. <laughs> you guys live in a trailer car park community, am I correct? Oh, uh, yeah, that's right. Um, we have a trailer park society, is very close, and... Uh, a lot of people stereotype us trailer park people because I think we're really gross and disgusting and uh, all we do is eat out of Cool Whip containers. And... Hell yeah! <laughs> okay, that was true, but uh, not, not all of us are rednecks and uh, all I gotta say about this is we're quite happy and uh, we like who we are. Okay, uh, cool. Um, so Kim, you think that Jonas is your baby daddy and Sherry, you think that Darren is yours. Well, as a matter of fact, I happen to know that Kim, you've had sex with Darren, and Cherry, you've had sex many a time with Jonas and the other Jonas Brothers as well. Uh, senor, it is Jonas. Chick, what the hell? I'm sorry, senor. Get out. Get out. Hey, don't push me, man. Uh, man, what the hell? This is bull. Senor, no, call me. I'm a call me. I don't know what you're saying. This is bull. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Wait, what? This is bull. Get out of here, man. Hey, come on. 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 Baby. There's like three in there. I don't know how many are in there. Well, what happened? I don't know. This is bull. <laughs> well, well, you guys have clearly been socialized to deal with your anger in a physical way. Yeah, that's what we do. How could you, Darren? It's my right to know what you've done, what you've been up to, and it's your obligation to tell me. You know, I don't have to tell you right? I do what I want. <laughs> well, you broke your role being faithful to me, and I, so I don't know you <laughs> hoe, all right? This is <laughs> Now let's see what the audience has to say. Girl, I got four babies. You just gotta get over it. This happens to me all the time. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> got something to say. Well, being a devout Christian, I think all of it is just horrible. I think that all this is just disgusting adultery and should not be and should be not should not be known. <laughs> it's taboo in this society. I think I'm gonna have to smack You don't I do what I want. Bring it gay. <laughs> you know what? Just praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. It wasn't very Christian, but um after the break we'll be back with the results of the paternity test. Uh. If you don't want this to happen to you, then get Good Mornings, the best morning after pill money can buy. 50% of the time,